Hi, Jeff Cote here with VotingTechTalk.com. Uh, we've got a question from a fellow voter, and uh, it's actually a good one because it it's relevant to all of us that have gasoline-powered uh, engines. So the voter asks, Jeff, I hear you talking about not putting certain electronics in engine rooms. Uh, maybe you could answer this question in a video. Uh, I have an outboard engine, but my fuel lines travel through the same compartment as my batteries are stored in. Is this a concern? I change my fuel lines out every couple of years for safety reasons. Your thoughts? Okay, well, that's a really good question. And um, to be honest, there's a lot of bravado with uh, gasoline engines by way too many boaters and technicians. Um, when we come aboard a boat that was uh, built or recently built and it has gasoline either outboards or gasoline engines, I can tell you that the builders worry a lot about making sure that that space is completely ignition protected and safe. And it's not something that any builder takes lightly because why? <laughs> Basically, it's our safety, right? Um, it's not impossible for a sort of fitting on a pipe um, to leak or anywhere on a gasoline circuit, right, where the fuel filters are, whatever it may be, or on the engine itself to actually have a leak of gasoline. And the challenge is when gasoline leaks, as we know, it easily uh, becomes uh, gasoline vapors. And if ever there's a spark in that engine room, um, it's gonna be a memorable moment in your life. So we're trying to avoid that as much as possible. So first thing is to make sure that all devices that go in a gasoline engine room, of course, can only be ignition protected. And that's a big, you gotta really focus on that. Second, you also have to make sure that you don't compromise the uh, vapor proofness of the engine compartment. In this case, it's an outboard, but in general, I've seen a lot of boats that have gasoline engines where people are literally drilling holes from the cabin space and the engine room and they're literally just running wires and you can literally see through those holes. And what has happened, sadly, is that the someone at one point has compromised the vapor proofness, I don't know if that's a word, uh, of the gasoline engine room. And so what you wanna do as a boat owner is you wanna make sure that under no circumstances, imagine you would be literally pressurizing your gasoline engine room, under no circumstances can any air whatsoever ever leak and go into your cabin space. So that's the first thing. Now for some of us that have outboards, um, I'm not too sure because I'm not a mechanic, I'm more of an electrician, um, about what the codes are with regards to the fuel lines. It's not my world. There's people that worry about that. But I can certainly tell you that we, as much as possible, avoid installing any non-ignition or electrical wires near fuel lines. So the fuel line has to be considered absolutely untouchable because, as we know, sometimes electrical wires can short. And if that ever shorted, which would be a big, you know, sort of problem, it could be exasperated, big word, uh, and literally cause your fuel line to also melt and then cause a bigger explosion. So if you've got gasoline fuel lines that are running through your boat, make sure that, yeah, you have no chafe on them, of course, and then also that electrical equipment near those lines are ignition protected and that no electrical wiring ever runs parallel to those gasoline lines. Because again, it's possible for an electrical wire to melt under overuse, overcurrent. And even though the fuse could have blown, it might not. I've seen fuse that should blow that don't. So I would, like this boater, take a lot of caution and worry. And that worrying is good because when you're on the water, then you don't have to. So you worry up front, so you don't have to worry later. So just be really careful. Uh, I know it's not super clear, my instructions. Um, it's just sort of whatever the builder did is generally done right. And then it's you worry about everything that's been done aftermarket. People that are willing to take chances that they shouldn't. So that's a great question. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, please ask them below or send us an email via the contact forms on our website. Happy to donate my time to share information with you. You can support us in keeping this channel ad-free by purchasing some merchandise on our store or by making a donation on PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.